Hello kids, my name is Opayemi Adiroba and today we'll be talking about patriotism. Patriotism. I hope you're familiar with the word patriotism. But if you're not, don't worry, you will at the end of this lecture. You'll have understood what patriotism is, know who a patriot is, and the symbols of patriotism, and what you need to do to be patriotic, the advantages of patriotism, and ex some examples of some patriotic people. Now, what is patriotism? Patriotism is the act of being a patriot. Act of being a patriot. Don't mistake it with a traitor. Those are two different words entirely. A traitor is different. As a matter of fact, is that is the opposite of being a patriot. Now, what does it mean to be a patriot? Is to be basically a good citizen, a good and loyal citizen. Now, how to be a good patriot and how to be patriotic? You need to love your country. You need to be able to represent your country positively. You should be able to serve your country. Believe in your country and its leadership. Follow the rules of your country. And like I said, generally being a good citizen. Being a good citizen is the act of being patriotic. That is what we call patriotism. Being a good citizen. Now let's go into what being a good citizen entails. Like I said, being a good citizen means to be patriotic. Now, you should be friendly. To your neighbors, that's the first thing. Say hi, say good morning, say how are you. you. Should be friendly, not just to your neighbors, but to people around you. That includes people in your church, people in your mosque, people in your place of worship, people in your schools, and people around wherever you should go. You should be friendly, say good morning, say hi, say hello, say bye. You should be friendly to new children in your neighborhood and your class too. A new child comes to class, a new kid comes to class, say hello, my name is Ope. What is your name? That is being friendly. You ask them to join you to play. You ask them, come and join us, let's play this game together. That is how to be friendly and be nice. Now, rep don't always just say, oh, I'm, just gonna, I'm not going to like that person because it's this. I'm not going to like that person because I know you should respect everybody from every community. Either they are Christians, either they are Muslims, either they are white, either they are black, either they are light-skinned or dark-skinned. You should be friendly and respect everybody from every communities, countries, and religion. Now, Help and respect the elderly people. That's one way to be patriotic. Be nice. You see an elderly person, help them cross the road. Help them to carry their, uh, their shopping. Help them carry their load. That is how to respect. Respect the elderly. Don't speak back to the elderly. Anytime an elderly person is talking, you listen. You help them because they are frail and older than you. So you help an elderly person. Now, keep your surroundings clean. So anytime you see somebody like your mommy and daddy dropping a piece of paper where they are supposed to be, you let them know, daddy, mommy, be a good citizen. My teacher told me to be a good citizen. You must keep your surroundings clean. You cut your grass at home. You pick the pieces of paper you find on the floor. Don't throw things out of the moving car. Make sure all the trash goes in the bin and when you finish playing with your toys you pack them up and you put them in the right place you keep your surroundings clean makes you a good 
citizen now follow traffic rules we all know what traffic rule is there's red there's green and there is yellow we know that the traffic light red means stop so when you see the red sign you know you should stop that's the red sign and the yellow sign means get ready to stop or get ready to go and the green sign means go so always respect traffic rules use the zebra crossing when you are walking now follow school rules too should always treat your teacher with respect good morning sir good morning ma how are you doing today hope you had a nice weekend respect your teachers when your teacher says sit down sit down don't talk don't talk those are follow school rules now another school rule you should follow is respect your classmates always be on school on time don't be late so next time you are running late to tell mommy i need to be a good citizen i need to be in school on time you should be in class on time and also you need to also respect and treat school properties with care for example school computers school furniture school uh school blackboard school whiteboard school bus treat them with respect don't destroy them because they cost a lot of money to fix and at the same time they are there for your enjoyment and your services so you need to treat them with care because when they get bad it means they cannot function for you properly now self-control is another way to be a good citizen and be patriotic do not get angry in public try to become control yourself from bad characters try to be civil in public now respect other people's properties to that's another way of self-control respect people's property don't take what doesn't belong to you if you want to use somebody's pen or somebody's book you ask the person may i lend your biro may i borrow your pen that is how to respect other people's properties you respect people's property by asking and if they're kind enough they would borrow you now guide all your friends also make sure you are the ones who tell your friends oh don't do this don't steal people things respect school properties respect uh the teachers so you guide your friends you tell them the right thing to do and you make sure you also are doing the same thing now respect all authorities show respect to the police show respect to the army show respect to daddy show respect to mommy because all of them are all there to serve and protect us so you need to show a lot of respect to them now another way of being a good citizen is to serve the country there are many ways you can serve your country you can represent your country in the olympics you can respect represent your country in football you can also serve your country and represent your country by joining the army and the navy or in the air force and you can also represent your country in other competitions or academic competition and being a noble laureate now there are different symbols of patriotism to show yourself as a patriotic citizen of a country the nigerian flag is an example of being a good nigerian it's an example of being a good patriot. The coat of arms is another symbol of a patriotism. It's another symbol of patriotism or being a good patriot. Now, these are examples, some examples of some good citizens and patriots of Nigeria. I don't know if you can mention all of them. There are about nine of them here. This is one. This is two, this is three, this is four, this is five, six, 
seven, eight, nine. Now, these are nine exemplary citizens of Nigeria. Now, I don't know if you can mention it, any of them. Let's do a little competition and see how many you can mention. Can you? Have you been able to identify any of them? Okay, let's start with number one. Do you know what this is? Good, if you got it right, this is Amadu Bello. Yes, if you got it right. Now let's go to number five. Do you know who this is? Great. If you got it right, his name is Chief Olusegun Obasanjo. That is another good citizen. He has represented Nigeria in so many levels and he used to be the president of Nigeria. Now, let's see if you can mention this person here. Yes, if you got it right, that is Uwanko Kano. Uwanko Kano is an ex-footballer of Nigeria. He has represented Nigeria in football and in other ways. And at some point, he won the under-17, if I'm very right here, World uh, Cup for under-23, I'm sure. Under-23 World Cup for Nigeria. So that's Uwan Kokano there. Now let's see if you can mention two, three, four, seven, eight, and nine. If you get them and you want to send them to me, you can email me. This is my email address. It's o.adirogba at greenlandhall.org. That's o.adirogba at greenlandhall.org so email me and email me the answers and we will i will i will email you back and answer you if you are right or wrong well thank you for listening to me i hope to see you in the next class i hope you can uh be able to identify what patriotism is I know what a patriot is. I know what it is to be a good citizen. Now, again, let's see if we can go back a bit to do a little bit of recap. Let's go do a little bit of recap. Now, patriotism, like I said, is the act of being a good patriot or a good citizen of a place. Being a good citizen of your home, being a good citizen of your country, being a good citizen of your church, being a good citizen of your marks, being a good citizen of your school. So being a good citizen is how to be patriotic, is what they call patriotism. So I hope you are a good citizen, and from now on you have learned how to be a good citizen. See you in the next class, and bye.